So in today's video, I will share with you 10 steps that massively helped me pass my own OCP. And I think it will massively help you as well. So the first one is to make sure that you have a stable VM running and you have recent snapshots as well. So that when you go into the exam environment and if your VM were to crash or anything like this, this has definitely happened before. And I don't want it happening to you guys without being prepared for it. Definitely make sure you have recent snapshots just in case anything goes bad. Number two, make sure to have tools organized in specific folders, right? You want to make it easy for yourself. You want to have it as clean and simple as possible, where you have all your privacy tools in a specific folder. For instance, maybe an opt, that's where I keep mine. And you pretty much just have your tools organized. And this is very important for just, yeah, just keeping it structured and keeping it simple. Number three, make sure that you have good notes. So again, you don't have to think that much. You want to be well prepared. You're not going to go into the exam knowing nothing and beat the exam. That's just not going to happen. Okay, no matter how smart you are, that's not going to happen. So you have to be well prepared. And uh, it's very important to just have it like so, just to make it simple for yourself, okay? So you've seen me use my notes all the time and they are absolutely just beyond useful. Number four, it's important to have a general checklist and a general methodology to follow. If you don't really feel like you have anything here at all, then I definitely recommend you check out the the checklist notes that I made. It's uh, pretty much for beginners who have no methodology yet, and it's something pretty solid that you can follow and get you started. Number five is to focus on your weakest areas before going to the exam, okay? And it's different for everyone. Some people are really good with initial access, but they suck at Prevesk. Some people are really good with Prevesk, but they suck at initial access. Um, maybe you're very weak with Active Directory, or maybe you know Active Directory, but you have no fucking clue how to pivot, right? It's very important to be well-rounded, and um, yeah, but more on this later. Number six, having gone through the Excel sheet that we made, and make sure that you have at least a basic competence on every single attack mentioned there. I will link it down below that you can check out for free. And if you do not at least have basic competence on everything inside of that sheet, then I don't recommend you it to the exam, okay? So it's very important that uh, you actually have all of that checked. Number seven, having skimmed through the actual OCP core syllabus and their actual learning material as well. It's a good way to think about it is that everything on the syllabus essentially can come on the OCP. Now, is that 100% true and 100% realistic? Maybe not, but it's a good thing to keep in mind at the very least, right? Um, you can come ask me in the Discord as well. I have a pretty good idea on... Uh, Without spoiling anything illegal, of course, but yeah, there are some things that you pretty much know won't come on the OCP exam. And it's useful to be aware of all of that, right? So that you can really concentrate on what actually matters. Number eight, understand what tools are and are not allowed on the OCP exam. Again, this is something you can ask me about. I'm happy to answer and I've done it many times. There's constant people. Again, we have hundreds of people inside our community taking the OCP courses over 20 hours and a part of that is, well, you will get access to the VIP section in the Discord, where you can ask you pretty much any questions, right? Obviously, I have the OCP, and I've helped many people get the OCP, so you can pretty much just ask me anything there. Uh, if you have any doubts about a tool or any technique you're struggling to understand, whatever, I'm there to help. Number nine, know how to write the actual report, right? There has been several people that has taken the OCP, passed the OCP lab, but they didn't get the certification because they didn't pass the report as well. Number 10 is to take good notes during the exam time because you know that you will not get access to the exam again. So if you just pass, uh, if you get all the points you need and you manage to pass and you're happy, but then you forgot about taking really solid notes or you wanted a specific screenshot or you wanted to copy paste the output because you want to include it into report, sorry, you can't do that. You can't get access to the, the lab environment again, the exam environment, then yeah, you just you kind of fucked. So it's very important that you actually remember that. I really, really, really hope that you found value in this uh, video, that you learned something new, useful. And uh, I wish you the very, very, very best of luck with the, the OCP journey.